Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, I know that a lot of you have phone service that do not allow unlimited tethering, unlimited hotspot. I got a way around that. Stay tuned. Okay everybody, not everybody can afford a router. Not everybody can afford the file hub system that I've shown. But want to do something with their phone. Okay. I'm going to show you a program that I've been using for years and I stand behind it. I know there's other ones out there I've tried. I really like this one. It just seems to work so well and I'm not getting paid for this review. I'm not getting paid anything on these and I'm just telling you what I think and what works great for me. Okay, what does this app do for you? Well, it is a purchase app. It's like $7.99 but that's for lifetime and it It'll take your phone to where you can use it as a hotspot without using it as a hotspot. All the data that is running through this out to other items, like you hook it to your laptop, you hook, you do it to your Android box, you, you know what I'm saying, is hidden. So it looks like it's only on the phone. And with a lot of service providers, they allow streaming. Okay, now usually it's up to like 480, and a lot of them are going up to 10, 1080p for free streaming. So you could actually use your phone, make it look like it's just on the phone on your TV. Now you can do that already with like a Miracast or a Chromecast, but you need to be on a, usually on a routered system and so forth to do that. Do it proficiently. So with this, this becomes your router. Um, well, let's just jump into it and let me show you what it does. There's a lot of services out there that will not let you get the speeds out of doing a Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone. Uh, this kind of takes that out of the consideration. It actually almost speeds up my service. Take a look. Hey, but before we get into it, do me a favor, subscribe. I appreciate it so much when you do that and hit that little bell notification. Every time you do that, it'll send you just a notification that we're having another video plus any drawings and giveaways that we're having. So you don't want to miss out on that. I've had a lot of winners that did not contact me because they didn't see the winner video. They didn't click the bell. They weren't notified that the drawing took place. That's why I say hit that little bell notification. Make sure you stay in the loop with this channel. And I'd appreciate it so much. And remember, always give me a thumbs up. It helps with the YouTube algorithm, helps the channel grow. The more we grow, the more we give. You know the deal. I'm going to go through it and show you what this does just so you can see if it'll work for you. Anyways, you can get uh, PDA Net Plus. It's on Google Play. And what it has is amazing. It's, I've been using this for just years. And, you know, I know there's others out there. I've tried them. Um, but this has really been a tried and true program that is worth it. I mean, it's, uh, you can actually install this for free, but you're going to be limited of how much bandwidth you can use and so forth. Um, but yeah, it goes in with, let me go up here and I'll show you FoxFi key. This is their early version, but you can buy for $7.99 then it's unlimited and it's open. So you need this if you want to get a full version unlocked so it's real simple this is also on google play i'll have all the links in the description okay now one more thing you need and you have to put it on your computer and what that is is you go to pdanet.co install which it's actually right here on google play right there and you want to go ahead and download either for your Mac because you need that client for your phone to talk to it uh, if you do tethering and so forth and even Wi-Fi. Uh, but yeah, you can download it here and it, it just really uh, is great. You will have a, this come up. This is your Windows section. You can connect with the USB, you can connect with Wi-Fi through that phone, uh, connect with Bluetooth, Wi-Fi share, you can do Bluetooth pairing, Wi-Fi pairing, auto connect and USB plug-in. 
uh, throttle connection, which you don't touch. That's usually for way older stuff, way older connections and older model phones. But yeah, it just really works well. And we'll get to that here in just a sec. This is just showing you what you're going to need. And they keep updating it to try to stay above and faster than anybody else. Okay, what you have on the PDA net right here, you have USB tether. Okay, this is when you're going to hook this up to your computer through a USB cable. Uh, so you're connecting your phone to the computer. You're going to use your phone's Wi-Fi on your computer. You can use it as a hotspot. Wi-Fi Direct Hotspot supports computers, tablet connections. Uh, you can change a Wi-Fi name and so forth. You can connect with a PDA hotspot. So other, you know, phones or other uh, items on your system that has uh, the PDA on it, you can connect through them also and get through on their system. You can do Wi-Fi wi hotspot. only works on certain models, which is true. Bluetooth mode, what I like is the hide tether usage. So if you are on a phone that shows a tethered, uh, they allow so much, that's considered a hotspot. And when you do that, you can use up that hotspot, like you get 10 gigabytes hotspot and so forth. Plus it eliminates the when you use the high when you use a hide tether usage uh it actually removes the the bandwidth cap if they have one okay so what we're going to go ahead and do now i'm going to quickly just click on the usb tether and watching the bottom lower right you'll see a that come up just click on it not really doing anything but watch it'll change here as I okay we'll go ahead and go to a speed test on uh, the computer and it's run like I said it's running through the computer now and we'll go ahead and click on that see what, what we come up with and as you can see there is no limiting on it so it's going to give you what the phone's going to get. And it really doesn't show a whole lot of, you know, uh, deterioration of the signal. It actually improves a lot of times your signal. So, um, it's it just crazy. Um, we'll let that run. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit this up again. We'll do a speed test on this again. See what I mean by it? It actually speeds it up on the actual computer itself. But that's, for some reason, I don't, I don't know why it does that, but it does. And you can actually use your Windows 10 computer as a router if you wanted to. Okay, we'll go back to PDA Net. You can see I already ran 40 gig or 40 megabytes through, almost 50. That kind of tells you uh, what that's doing. Okay, so let's do this now. Let's go ahead and take it, and I'm going to unplug. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and untether the USB tether. I always leave hide tether usage on, by the way. And what you can do is you can go ahead and click on. Yeah, I'm going to turn it into a Wi-Fi. Okay, now as you can see at the top, it'll say the phone, what it is. We're going to go down here. 
and as you can see right here direct 86 sm the, the g965 pda net okay so we're going to go and click on that one and we're going to go ahead and connect you're going to need to type in that password if you haven't done it already and it's right there for you so it's really easy it says it's connected so if we go like this and let's do another test here Now this is through the Wi-Fi test. We are hooked up to the phone. It's pulling down the 16, 18, 19.51, not bad. Let's see what the up speed is. Outstanding. It just, it works that well. Uh, so you can use this like this um it it works really nice it your phone becomes a hot spot uh and like i said it hides that tether if you wanted to do that so it's tethering and wi-fi is the same usage it's it's kind of telling the phone or telling your service that you're not doing this <laughs> that you're just using your phone but that's how it works and like i said it's it really is worth it to have it uh, to use like in places that you can't get very good internet. Um, you can run your VPN on your phone. So that way you're always protected. Uh, but this is just another way that you can get online uh, through your phone and hide the usage. Um, and this is really a great way to play m movies also. Because you have a lot of these companies, the uh, services that allow you to download or, or allow you to watch stream services for free. You know, like Netflix and all that stuff. So it doesn't go against your, your uh, data cap. So you can actually use your phone like this and, and either, you know, scan it or... Uh, you can mirror it to your TV or what have you. You know, there's just all kinds of different things you can use it for. See, that's a pretty good program. Now, I, I like doing it this way because uh, I don't like going to hotels that have really, you know, when I'm on vacations or I'm on the road, I'm doing seminars or what have you. I don't like using airport and hotel Wi-Fi. For one, they're slow usually. And for two, there's just too many people trying to get in on that system. So... I like to be protected too. So remember to run a VPN. Use the one I suggest or not. I don't care. Just get a VPN. Hey, but I hope you liked it. And if you did, please remember subscribe. Guys, it's worth it. It doesn't cost you nothing. Hit the bell notification. And thank you so much for giving me the thumbs up on this video. You know, it means a great deal to me. And I appreciate all my supporters that have donated to the channel. You guys are the greatest. So until next time, I'll see you, and let me know. Uh, send me emails, send me comments. Let me know what you want to see. So until next time, I'll see you later. Keep watching.